Hey everybody, Bandicoot Commando here, and welcome back to Slide 3. Last time, we finished Flight of Fancy. We... We, uh... We hacked into the windmill control system, and then we commenced Operation Turbo Eagle, Dominant Eagle, I think. And, uh, despite some mishaps... Sly was able to win the tournament against the Black Baron, and it turned out that the Black Baron was actually Penelope, right there. Uh, Penelope in disguise all along. And uh, Penelope would explain that the disguise was for um, to enter in the dogfighting competition because of the age restriction. But after winning, the Baron became a celebrity and she put on the disguise more and more often. Now, she's free to join the Cooper Gang. And with our new RC specialists on our side, today we are going to do Episode 4, A Cold Alliance. Let's go. After a careful analysis of Dr. M's fortress, Bentley came to the difficult conclusion that his demolition skills just weren't going to be enough. If we wanted to get inside the Cooper vault, we'd have to recruit a full-time demolition specialist. However, Bentley's proposed candidate was a shock. My old enemy, the Panda King. An old face returns. As a member of the original Fiendish Five, he had a part in taking out my dad and stealing pages from the Thievius Raccoonus. Eventually, I caught up with him, and I claimed back what he had stolen. There was no way I was gonna let that monster on my team, but Bentley was firm. He discovered the Panda King had left his life of crime and was now a monk living the life of quiet meditation high up in the mountains. I wasn't at all convinced, but there was no denying that he had the skills we needed if we were to succeed. So the gang packed up, put on our disguises, and headed east to China. Off to China. A very accurate map of China. That's the thing, when they showed that map of Australia, it wasn't, it was accurate, but the locations in the actual game weren't exactly accurate. The Kunlung Mountains of China, 6.31 a.m. There he is, just meditating and minding his own business. Stay sharp, team. For all we know, the Panda King's just as dangerous as ever. How can you say that? Just look at him! Have you ever seen someone more at peace with the world? I'll admit, he does look kind of zen out. Ah, uh, Mr. King! Honorable Panda King, we humbly wish to speak with you! I guess he doesn't want to talk. Sorry, Bentley. Let's go. Be realistic, Sly. He's clearly in a deep meditative trance. Huh. It'll take some doing, but I think I see a way to get the team up to his shrine. Good. The walk up here tired me out. I don't want to turn around now. Man, I missed the van. We never mm -hmm. had to walk anywhere back then. Okay, okay. Let's just get this over with. Murray, you're up first. If you could get to the top of that pillar, you should be able to use your ball move to bounce all the way up to the Panda King. Okay, bouncing is a lot easier than more walking. Seriously, you guys want to see my blisters? No way, is he serious? Yeah, okay, master. Bouncing, pillars, piece of cake. Ha, have a die. <laughs> I hear that. Sometimes you've got to be firm. No, seriously, was he for real about the blisters? Cause, uh, I don't know, it's 
Yeesh. <laughs> Don't worry, Penelope. I know how you feel. My first job, oh my god, I had some bad blisters on my feet when I went to my first job at Sam's Club. It was so bad. Well, clearly... Oh, I could do this now. Oh, don't fall into the ice. I just wanted to see if I can get some items off these guys. He's got something, but... Okay, so just wait. Okay, so we got these tigers. A ruby? I should point out, the further we get into the game, the more lavish the treasures will get. There. Okay, so... Bentley said if you get to the top of this pillar, and... I guess the game wants you to jump from pillar to pillar, but what you can really do is this, really. And yes, Bouncer is a lot faster than walking. Like that. You can even bounce up to the Panda King if you're careful enough. Okay! I'm in position! Penelope, you're up next. I'm not sure if you're aware, but Sly could jump onto small points. Those bamboo shoots would be an ideal means of ascent if they weren't spaced so far apart. Hold on, hold on. Let me see if I can figure it out for myself. It's, uh, got to do with the ice. Okay, so clearly we need more points in order for Sly to ascend. The problem? Where we're going to get them. The answer? Split each chute down the middle, thereby doubling the points of ascension. However, the ice down there appears too thin to walk on, so there's no way to do it by hand. So, I'll need to use my lightweight remote control car to split the trees for us. Perfect! That's it, exactly! Great! Anything for Sly. I love to see him pull off those athletic moves. <laughs> Good thing I installed a turret on this little lady. Perfect for splitting logs. So just use the X button to accelerate, square to go back, and R1 to shoot. Your turret, your gun can overheat, so, uh... Sly, hope it's everything you could have wished for. Uh, thanks. It looks great. My pleasure. Really, <laughs> anytime. Ah, uh, Sly, isn't it time you climbed up there and joined Murray? Yeah, sure. Looks like someone has an admirer. All right, before we go up, um, what did I get with him? Oh, was it the shadow power? Okay. All right. Uh, you watching me, Penelope? Because this is all I gotta do. Uh. And there. You could crawl under these trees. Hey, Murray. Hey, pal. Whack the supports up on those pinwheels! Really? Pinwheel destabilization is the cornerstone of this plan! Jump into my hands and I'll throw you up there! One of the rare times this is gonna ever happen. Ah, thanks for the toss. Wait, hold on. 
<laughs> yeah, if you're on too long, Sly will jump off, but still. Uh, and there. I'm all done up here. Excellent. Now that the pinwheels are unstable, I just need to light them up with my darts. One shot per rocket should do the trick. Okay, so the best way to do this is up here. Alright, all you gotta do is just time your shots. Oops. Yep, that's one. Missed. Nice. Those pinwheels are about to go. Guru, feel up for a challenge? Huh? I'm doing that. Well, that's right. You should be able to persuade the guards to help you get up to those rockets. Oh, hiya. All right. All right. This is the only time you'll play as Guru in China, really, but his transformations, though. A pile of sticks. A small pile of rockets and a bonsai tree. All right, come here. Thanks for the help. All right, that will help us get up there. And that will help us get directly up to the Panda King. Strong work. That fallen pinwheel should serve as an excellent makeshift elevator. All right, let's go. All right. All right, everyone, let's go up. I agree. He's in a super meditative state. So let's just shout in his ear. Now, to break him out of this trance, we'll need to delve into his mind. A hacksaw, then? No, it'll require channeling. Sly, sit beside the Panda King. The guru will bridge your minds. All right. We're going to go inside the Panda King's mind. I see you carry the cane of the notorious Cooper Thief Clan. Have you come here for revenge? To steal back the thievious Raccoonus? Whoa! This is just like the time I beat the stuffing out of you. Why should you care if I bury a few worthless villagers in the snow? You are a thief, just like me. Uh, yeah, are you even listening to what I'm saying? Insolent child! You shall pay dearly for your disrespect. Still, to honor your Cooper ancestry, I will send you to your doom with the beauty of my new firework technique. Flame Fool. Uh-oh. A reenactment of his boss fight from the first game. It is almost quite true to the original version. Sadly, you can't um, get near the statues and hold circle to crouch near them to act as a line of defense. Alright, so uh, much like in the first game, all you gotta do is just run up to him and beat up on him. But there's a twist to it. Fiery wheel! Booming drop! Um, 
Lights of Thunder! Fiery Wheel! Snap out of it! This is all in your head! My mind is clear. Focused on your destruction. I've got to break him out of this memory loop. Maybe I should play nice. Look, I'm here to help you. To get your mind out of this rut. If you truly wish to aid me, stand still and let my fireballs cook your flesh. Okay. Palms of fun. Booming chop. Fiery wheel. Fiery wheel. But too bad I can't reenact the fight from the first when I did the first game. Um, threaten him. You know how this will end. I've already beat you once. I can do it again. I have never known defeat. I am unbeatable. Palms of fun. Booming chop. Fiery wheel. Fiery wheel. Alright. He's getting low on health. And we're running out of choices. Say something from the past. You're just a frustrated firework artist turned homicidal pyromaniac. Am I? Am I? Let us find out. Palms of fun, fiery wheel. Booming chop, fiery wheel. So if you do get hit by him, he does kind of the same thing if you did get hit by him in the first game. He just does the eyebrow thing and the bow, but he doesn't do his little dance. Anyway, make him sad. We both know why you're here. You're fixated on the moment of your greatest defeat. I beat you, and forever after you've wondered how it all fell apart. I hate you, Sly Cooper. You've ruined me. Ruined the Panda King. And I've hated you. But that doesn't make any of this real. Years have passed, and, and we both changed. Come out of this trance. Let's meet each other as we are today, and, and let go of who we were when this fight occurred. You are correct. Forgive me. My mind is not always my own. That did the trick. The Panda King wasn't any more excited about the notion of him joining the gang than I was. If it weren't for the Guru, who for some reason really hit it off with the old guy, the whole deal would have been a bust. We could see the anger in the Panda King's eyes as he recounted how he lost a member of his own family. A daughter who was abducted by a powerful general from the Northern Mountains. She was to be the bride in a forced marriage to this unscrupulous ruler, and Panda King was exiled. We agreed to help him recover his lost daughter in exchange for his skills in the Cooper Vault job. I still wasn't convinced this was a good idea, but a deal's a deal. Time to relive the past. The Panda King returns. Sly Cooper and the gang in a cold alliance. Our new hideout. We, we all know that our objective here is to retrieve the Panda King's daughter, Jean King. She's being kept against her will by this man, General Sao. A real peach, this guy. During surveillance, I actually witnessed him kick a puppy. Twice! He plans on forcing Jing King to marry him next Saturday. Clearly, time is of the essence. Here's the plan. First, I'll approach Sao in disguise and attempt to get hired as his wedding planner. Hopefully, with a man on the inside, we'll get some news on Jing King. Still, we need more information. 
two of us will need to work together to steal a pair of twin keys and break into Sal's house of business. Once inside, I'll need to utilize some new technology to circumvent their ultra-tight security. Finally, thanks to Penelope's air sweeps, we've picked up an unusual radio signature out in the water. Someone will need to go eyeball the anomaly and figure out what it is. We can't leave anything up to chance here, or Jing King lives unhappily ever after. Saving a woman from a forced marriage? The most heroic thing you can do. Alright, I'll end it off, but before we do... Yep, all of us have a job to do. So first, let me check our... What we got here. The size disabilizer, the temporal lock, and jump attack level 2. So, 16... I'll need 2,000... Okay, 2,600. Let's just take a quick peek at things before I go back in and end it. All right, so tigers, pigs, monkeys, oh my. The Chinese Zodiac, all together. Oh, he has something. A large diamond. Good night. Oh, these will activate, 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 sorry, activate spike traps. At least these pigs are not like the ones that we dealt with in Holland. Lastly, there was a monkey over here, but it seems he is gone. Or, nope, there he is. He's still here. And he looks like he's got something. Oh, no. Just dig a few coins. Oh, that's it. Is this water? Is this water or... Yeah, bottomless. Okay. Safe house. Okay, I'll end it off here, though. That will do for this episode of Sly 3. Join me next time. As we start with... Oh, this is such a fun job name. Get a job. Develop an inside track on General Sao's wedding plans with Jing King by getting a job in the ceremony. <laughs> Still, just get a job. And then we will do Graffle Cam Break In and a Tearful Reunion. King of Fire. So that was trying to meet up with the Panda King. Right, so that is it. And I will see you guys next time.